When I first started my role as a software engineer, specifically in observability, something that really confused me is when my company had two tools that did the exact same thing. So for example, we had Grafana and Datadog that were both collecting logs and letting users create alerts if they wanted to on that data. So after a few years in the industry, I started thinking about why this happens. And the reason is a bit complex. You know, people tend to think it's, oh, upper management being political or something along those lines. And that's only part of the problem. You can't assume that's the whole thing, though. It's, it's more complex than that. It could also be the fact that, you know, especially in big companies, there are two teams that serve similar purposes and they just have no communication channel in between them to you know, communicate when they're trying to solve this problem. And on top of that, like a lot of the times you don't even know such teams exist or that the same problem is happening somewhere else. If you did, then yeah, maybe you would reach out to them. Now, the craziest part of all of this to me is that this problem has never went away. I still see it. I saw it as an intern and I'm still seeing it now. So it made me think of the actual solutions and how to best approach, you know, such issues where your company has multiple tools that do the same thing. And the solution that I came up with in general is that, you know, you, let's say, let's go back to the example of me wanting people to make alerts with the systems that my team owns. What I would do as a software engineer in that team is I would make an API or an abstraction, a service, whatever you want to call it. And I would make that wrap around both of those systems. And in that interface, I'm going to expose something called make alert, right? So if it's HTTP interface, I'm going to make a Node.js app or something and give it an endpoint slash create alert. And what that's going to do is create the alert in both Grafana and Datadog, for example, maybe alert is a bad example. And now when somebody wakes up at 3 a.m., again, they're not deciding which place to go to. They go to your service to create one alert and your service worries about creating oh one for Grafana, one for Datadog, et cetera. And then, you know, that's the whole idea behind the integrations, right? Your service then should support more integrations. And that's what an integration means. It is one of many things that your system supports. You know, that's not a strict definition. I'll probably make another definition as a short or something. And so now you have this single service where your customer doesn't wor need to worry about the details. All they need to do is say, I want to make an alert. And then that hides the problem of there being multiple tools. It all of a sudden becomes not a problem anymore. And you have a very specific role or task to do at your job. So, you know, one can look and complain, oh, there are many systems or, you know, a more mature software engineer is going to be like, ha, this is my chance to prove myself and have something to do for the next few months so that I don't get fired. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the solution. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this, make sure to watch some of my more technical videos. I'm trying this new style out because, you know, it seems like YouTube has been promoting a lot of creators who, who talk through like real world problems. And so, you know, I'm taking a crack at that, uh, you know, subscribe to my channel. Uh, we are growing. I am at 2000 subscribers, which is really goddamn cool. You know, I hope we can get to 10,000 or something, especially if, you know, by trying new things like this. So yeah, thanks for watching.